what I have seen throughout Pune or Mumbai, it's basically Microsoft Excel everywhere. And uh, basic starting salary of this job is uh, 4.5 to 6, depending on how good you are in Excel and how good you are with the data. Okay, so uh, I will just explain you basic Excel things, why Excel is still very much important and it will always be there, even though there are so many advanced uh, tools and how even though it's very simple it's tricky as well okay so i'm gonna just uh explain you basic functions and how i'm gonna conduct these sessions and everything so uh just uh bear with me the basic thing whenever you say excel it's calculation it's always calculation we deal with okay so if you see uh excel is divided into columns and rows format and we, we can apply normal Excel formulas, okay? And we can just uh, understand how we can use very, very simple formulas for our advantage. So I have, uh, like here you can see there is a basic derivation done of what kind of functions you can deal with. So I'm not sure if everybody is from, uh, you know, this background, like uh, is anybody from, uh, you know, coding background, or do you guys know normal, uh, you know, comparison operators in any language? Do you guys have any idea about it? No, ma'am. Yes or no? Sorry, I couldn't hear. No, ma'am. No, no. We're not having any idea for this. Okay. Can you just quickly tell me what from which kind of background you guys are? So I will yeah. understand. Ma'am, this is Sunil. I belongs to uh, insurance vertical. Okay, and what is your background like? Uh, it's I'm into last 14 years, I'm into health insurance only uh, for getting this uh, multinational uh, uh, policies, MNC policies, domestic policies. And so, uh, do you what, use Excel for your normal work or do you normal. use it? No, not at all. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, next, Devendra, Avinash, somebody else. Hi, ma'am. I'm Avinash. Uh, I'm a design engineer, electrical design engineer. Okay, electrical. So you have no idea about coding or basic data types or anything, I believe. Yes, ma'am. No idea. Okay, okay. So I'm going to start with very basic because we have two, three people who are basically from, you know, not at all coding background. Okay, so I'm going to start with very, very basic thing here. Uh, whenever you have any language, okay, you will have normal uh, basic functions inbuilt into that language to compare two values to check if something is blank or not, you know? So we need comparison operators, okay? And if you go into any kind of coding, there will be data types. There will be normal string, there will be number, integer, the way we used to learn, when we used to learn integration, normal numbers and types of numbers, right? Type of data types. So every language will define it in its own way. Very basically, you should know there are numbers, there are integers, there are percentages and float and string in Excel. Okay. Now, mainly when what happens, you need to compare a few things because all you are dealing with data right so you need to compare multiple things and get some result from somewhere so you need to know how the basic comparison operators work so these are the basic comparison operators which you can use in excel equal is equal does not equal is written as greater than and less than it is also written in a way like this you can write it like this i'll type it for you you can also write as it like not equal. So you can just write it as not, not symbol on uh, lapi and equal. Okay, shift one and equal. This will also be not equal. Next thing is, 
ग्रेटर देन लेस देन ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू लेस देन इक्वल टू ओके दीज आर वेरी बेसिक ऑपरेटर्स विच यू विल बी यूजिंग अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन ओके एंड नाउ यू गाइज आर वेरी वेरी लाइक ऑन द इंट्रोडक्शनरी पार्ट बट देर आर टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन इन एक्सेल विच यू विल बी यूजिंग फॉर डे टू डे डेटा ओके वन इज स्टैटिस्टिकल लुक ऑफ फंक्शन टेक्सट फंक्शन Guys, you can you are able to see my screen, right? No, ma'am. Okay. Yes, no visible, no visible. Okay. next is statistical function so basic sum count average these kind of functions come into this category we will go through every basic function and how to utilize it and how we can apply the function in the same worksheet same workbook or say another workbook you know there is very very good functionality provided by microsoft excel that you can compare two values which are kept in two different workbooks so this one excel open a uh, window this is a workbook okay and these are worksheets okay so there are uh, formulas which you can apply from worksheet one worksheet to another worksheet you can directly apply formulas from one workbook to another workbook the workbook can be on cloud the workbook can be on drive it doesn't matter okay so basically all you need to grasp is formulas okay once you have formulas into command then you can definitely move on to vba recording and micro recording and that will be just a basic uh, you know editing of a code like that so we have a uh, look up functions look up functions are very much important the very very common function which is used on everyday basis is v look up h look up is also there okay there are some text functions like something you want to convert in upper something you want to convert in lower or uh, you have a list of names and the na names uh, are collected are not in you know proper format so you can just convert them and you can uh, use text functions okay so there are text functions there are date functions you can manipulate date so easily in excel and date is very important and the format uh, by you know date is entered is a uh, different for everybody and then you need to collect data and compare all the data like imagine there is a dealer car dealer okay and this car dealer sells to multiple uh, small businesses and all the data comes to him from different different small businesses now if i am in accounting of a, of one small business i will be entering data in a different way my date uh, date uh, format will be like i will be using slash some people use date month and then year okay so this dealer which is the main car, de car dealer he is getting from 6 to 7 people different kind of data but he cannot use that data separately he needs that all the data to be collided and then you know get some result out of it that what was his sale for the month or how what was the average and which car were mostly sold and what was the ratio right so the data has to be in proper format and this is where excel comes very much into picture to manipulate data and uh, you know get the calculation very very fast then this is a very simple document excel microsoft office is available in every system you don't need cloud any small business can afford this and hence it is very much still in progress and it will always be there you don't you don't need to worry that excel won't be the excel will always be there okay so there are so many th cool things you can do directly with excel that uh, you know you will you won't imagine that okay i can do this with excel so these are basic function introduction i have given now i'm going to give you one sample like sample sample uh, uh, you know how to... yeah, yeah is somebody saying something i'm so sorry ma'am i'm so sorry okay okay so uh, guys i'm going to explain you very very small uh, functions today and some 
coding part as well do not consider that you guys are not from uh, any coding background or not from uh, you know uh, any background this is something a housewife can learn if she focuses on it so you guys definitely can pick this up in like 10 days okay so i'm going to explain you very very small functions today so if you see here i have opened some tools uh, and here we have like normal auto sum functions i can use if i show you here you can see that there will be formulas can you see here what I, what this person has done is he wanted a daily average okay so q2 q2 refers to this column okay so sale and row concept i think i cleared in the first go only these are the rows okay every time you are uh, data will be progressive on row basis these are the columns you can expand them any any way uh, these are indefinite columns the more you scroll the more columns you will get the more you scroll down the more rows you will get maximum capacity of excel is more than 10 lakhs okay so uh, if you see uh, the average is uh, being brought here for q2 is divided by r2 okay this is the same way q3 is divided by r3 this is a very common average uh, function but here we are doing normal di uh, division nothing else there is no more calculation here okay but what i what this uh, calculation what this sheet is doing here it also needs some an overall average okay so what it is doing is it is doing sum so how it is doing all you have to do is click on x equal sum you need to see select the first okay you will do it here like this and you will select the last one okay and you will do it like this okay and the data will come okay this is how the data will come so applying formula always formula will be coming by equal to got it there won't be anything uh form any formula starting without equal to all the formulas will start with equal to okay and then you apply your logic whatever logic you need you apply it like that and then it will come so if i tell you this is the salary and i want to multiply it by with so i'm gonna just do this okay this is how it's gonna happen and if you want to drag and drop this formula all you have to do is double click okay and it will auto fill till the first column when you use the auto column it will always take the count of the first column is it something uh helping you guys like what i'm trying to get through you keep talking i want this to be an interactive session i'm gonna repeat everything i'm just covering very small small topics to get you understand what we are gonna if you guys join this course what you will you know be looking into and how you will be practicing hello hello madam please go ahead please go ahead now i was kind of looking that students will say something because if i keep talking it's not you know of any importance if they they don't uh, they are not along with me you know if they are not with me no problem no, no. we are we are on the same page ma'am actually we are okay. just we are noticing that how this uh, this will help us in our career we hmm. are just just getting that only ideas okay 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 good okay so there are references so auto relative references and references is something i'm gonna explain you when we do the vba coding i'm gonna show you one shortcut here though okay one more thing before i go deeply into excel in kpos you will be required to create reports okay and reports can be complicated reports can be very simple but if you see 
this is one of the options or uh, this is one of the demo of a report okay these kind of reports you guys can create and all you have to do when new data is being inserted all you have to do is come and refresh okay and this will automatically calculate everything for the daily basis so if you guys just create something and uh, you know if you're doing something manually every day and it is taking like 40 minutes 30 minutes a day you can just put some logic into excel and all you have to do is refresh the data paste the new data and you're good to go with so this is a this is a very you know a variety of report uh, embedded in one workbook but i'm just showing what kind of reports you guys will get we'll come back to this i'm gonna go through like one more uh two three more uh normal formulas which you guys can use and i'm gonna show you normal if else condition so do you know uh if else normal condition that if something is uh equal to something then uh, first condition can be executed if something is not equal to the condition given then the rest of the part can be executed okay so in normal excel you can use if else is a very common thing okay so here they have used it i'll show you the formula okay what this person has done is if j2 j2 is where is your j2 going on okay this was to okay j2 what it is doing if j2 is greater than or equal to 42000 42, okay then it will be blank like that this person has written if i do this autofill of the formula and if I show you the data, this is the bonus calculated for this particular salary. Okay, depending on the rating, the quarterly rating or the six months rating we guys get, depending on that, the bonus is being calculated here. If I change the formula, okay, if I want it for like one only, then if you see, it will change. And everybody will get the bonus like that so this is something very very common utilization of if okay now i'm gonna show you nested if so you understood how to write this formula i'll explain equal to i'm saying if okay when you press tab it will automatically convert it it's in day two yes greater then 42,000 then and this time it's returning false okay when I want it to return more than like this I'll be returning this it won't return anything for everybody because it has to be greater than five if i do it seven it will come back two thousand okay if this is four, six it will come like this this is how you manipulate the data okay this is a normal if formula it is very very commonly used everywhere now nested if now what do you think nested means guys because every formula can be nested in all the ways so what do you think nested means can somebody tell me any general idea will do you have to communicate you have to be very interactive otherwise this session is not gonna go anywhere no idea man. nested you guys have no idea nobody yes ma'am no idea okay so nested means inside another thing okay 
when i'm saying this is a normal bracket okay this is a normal bracket oh, this will cover one formula okay when inside this particular bracket i am going to define another function okay it is inside that function that applies to be the concept of nested okay because i am putting something in another logic there is a predefined formula and i am defining another logic inside that so i am nesting the logic there okay inside another thing so here if you see we will see the nested f show you formula So I will update this formula for you guys. It's saying bonus. So what I will do is I'm gonna check if the department is also the same. So here if you see uh, there is a department ADC. So this is C. So I, what I'll see if C2 is equal to ADC then I wanted to return this else I wanted to return nothing. So wherever the department is ADC, there only it will. If I show you the data and filter, put the department as ADC there only we will see the bonus has been calculated and if i remove the department from filter you will see the bonus is not calculated can you see i nested my condition i added my condition to the rating plus the department is it understood are you guys okay with this yes ma'am yes okay okay so this is how you you can use if for multiple uh, scenarios depending on multiple complications i have it once written for a requirement like 10 to 12 nested ifs in one cell because it was that complicated or that was the easiest way i could get the data okay so uh this is the example of nested if i'm gonna go to vlookup now lookup functions are something very very important okay guys and they are used so commonly that any interview if you go and go uh, give for mis okay any interviewer first thing he will ask is we look up and he will ask the difference between we look up and edge look up and how we what are the limitations of we look up like that okay so this is a very common thing which is used in excel and i'm gonna show you how you can apply what is the use of vlookup okay so i come here uh i'm gonna look for e2 the value in e2 okay in here a b and i'm gonna return a column so what how we look up is so the syntax of we look up is like this we look up okay what you are looking for that means we look up uh, is used to search one value in a given range and in that particular range if you want something in return from that range okay so now if you see fair i'm gonna look for fair in this table okay and when i am i'm finding fair i wanted to return me the second column okay so how you will apply this we look up is i am looking for e2 okay 
I need to look into this table. Okay. I am gonna return this second column and I want the exact match. I do not want the okay, okay match. Okay. So like this. Now, if I want to log this, how you will lock it? You will lock it with a, because with drag and drop, I don't want it to go ahead like this. So if I drag and drop this, till there. Can you see? Satisfactory. Satisfactory was 78. It was dragged here. Everybody understood we look up. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So there are two functions. Means basic uh, understanding of VLOOKUP you should guys have is I want to search for one thing in a uh, in a very large amount of data and return something in parallel of that particular string or that particular number. Okay. And VLOOKUP will always work on the right hand side. Okay. So this is how uh, basic looking up things or basic every time you do reporting this will be the basic requirement that uh, for today's date i want to see how many cars were sold so my v lookup should work like that okay and you can use the nested v lookup so we will do a nested v lookup here okay first i'm gonna look for state here okay this is the list of state and i have this range of state Okay, so I'll do it. And anybody help me with this formula? Tell me what should I click on first? State. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in this. I want to look for this. Where is my range? This one, uh, column number J or exactly J and K both I want. Okay, so I'm gonna select the entire range. Always lock your range, guys. Always lock your range. How you lock your range? You put a dollar sign. Okay. I do not want to lock the column. I'm just locking the number. Okay. I locked. Okay. I want to return the second. I want the shortcut. Then I want this false. False means exact match. Okay. True means normal. It will it won't look further okay if it finds the first match it will return that thing only false means exact match that means if i want florida flo rida it has to match with the florida otherwise do not return me anything so now this is returning me the short forms of these particular regions okay now but what is happening i want with regions i want what is there for the first quarter so what i'm gonna do is i have got my region so i'm gonna put another view copy okay my first we look up is this this will be my output for my this se what i want to do is i want to look in this range okay i'm gonna lock my range again i want to return the second column again i want it to be an exact match so it has returned my percentage as one Got it? So I had no direct mapping of state, region, and then the particular quarterly values. So what I have done is I have first mapped the state with the region. Okay, take out, taken out the region part, and then I have mapped the region part with the values. Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, these are very very small formulas if you see i have ton of data and i want uh, you know to uh, cover so many topics i had this discussion with uh, sir that what i want to cover and i want somebody after doing this particular course i want you to get a job in kp industries because see everything is work from home nowadays and even if you do a part-time job in this industry you will be earning a good amount okay so uh this was my main uh motive and main uh reason 
behind designing the course that what is being utilized and, and is in demand in kpos my main target is kpos not even bpos okay kpo people at least pay and they have regular shifts and everything so you guys can look for a part time or full time job so if you guys have any questions ask me uh, thanks uh, bagishri madam it was wonderful session but this basic agenda of the session is to have you know a kind of uh, interaction session and demo of the field of you know advanced excel is, is having so much commands you know mm -hmm. so we have created this kind of seminar especially you people to come and ask the questions basically some of these students are already our existing students they are mostly from cad mechanical electrical background but okay. everywhere whenever i got a job requirement there is advanced excel is also required especially in the designing field so okay. we want these students to have awareness of first thing is advanced excel and if they find like interesting they can go for a better uh, upgrade they can upgrade the uh, i mean like 20 hours of training complete training program it's just a demo of today so yes, yes. so just please ask anybody madam if you want to ask something technical please feel feel free to ask to mai kuch syllabus mai i want to show you can i show the syllabus madam the topic which we can cover if they wanted to yes 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 i think i have so lagos on my system only i change my laptop okay. one second i'll forward it to myself one second it's on another name i have with that syllabus shall i share madam i have i have i'm sending it to myself it was on a number you know Okay, guys, can you see my screen? Yeah, yes. obviously you see. Okay, so whatever I covered was not even part of this. The basic Excel formulas is a very, you know, small part of advanced Excel. Okay, I am uh, gonna put some effort into normal formulas because you all are from designing background, electrical and mechanical. Okay, but anyways, you guys should guys should be able to use the uh, normal Excel for uh, calculation because I believe you guys deal with a lot of calculation. Now, uh, you will go through normal uh, functions and all types of functions what are required on day to day basis. But how to use that data to put it into a graphical format? Okay, so higher management will never go through numbers. They will always look for graphical representation, charts and pivot tables. Okay, so you will always go ahead with the charts and pivot tables. Now, best part of Excel is it allows you to connect to Access Database. And you can store your data and it will again work like a very small application software where you have in backend your Access Database and front end is your Excel. Okay, so that is one of the very good features provided by Excel the formulas i'm gonna cover and the workbook calculations and everything and how you can use uh, local reference and foreign reference in workbooks that i am gonna cover now these are very very something uh any uh buddy who is using excel should know now today's world everything is analytics you need to do the analysis of data and how you can do the analysis by using a normal uh excel 
so uh, there are ways which you can use and if you have a lot of data what are the tricks and how you can save your performance time uh, there are ways you need to know so i'm gonna cover that part from the reporting point of view okay power user is something uh, uh, i was i once gave interview to uh, merck and this is a company which uh, deals with logistics okay so they they had a power user uh, in the back end so this is one of the thing which is used by most mostly uh, companies which use logistics so how to use the power user because they have another software which uses power user so it is very easier for them to connect with the power user so that is one topic i'm going to cover and mainly performance improvement in reporting in, in any kind of reporting because if you have more and more data your excel will take some time to open okay and then it will take some time to refresh the calculation so you need to make sure some of the things you should not do at all so your excel is good now uh, more of a reporting point of view because uh, if you see everybody is behind reporting they want to know the numbers and conclusion so uh, what is power pivot and visualization nobody is gonna see numbers again i'm telling you all they will see is the graphical uh, representation of it okay now power bi is something which is a microsoft product only and it is used in almost every every big uh by every big banks uh you know every it industry every car dealership or you know every uh, insurance company power bi is being used power bi is a reporting tool it is exact copy of excel if you know excel it is very much similar to power bi okay and uh, the formula the placing of formulas and everything is very very much similar so if you are familiar with excel you can very very easily uh, indulge into power bi then excel forecasting and what if analysis this is something uh, very much from the point of view of data science you will say what is uh, excel has to do with data science believe me a lot of things comes from excel only in data science okay so this is a very very back end step but yes you can do what if analysis uh, excel micros so what one of the uh, great feature of excel if i am selecting and adding a new excel worksheet and if i uh, click on recording it it will generate a code for me on the back end okay i don't have to write the code on my own okay it will generate a static code for me on the back end but if you understand the language you can just take the static code and make it dynamic and you don't have to repeat the same task again and again it will be very much easier for you to you know just click on the micro button and it will run for you so vba programming is something uh, i absolutely love and uh, report automations is something i have made my career out of okay and there is always uh, if even in any industry there is always uh, some space for improvement and growth so automation is always always wanted and with vba you can do a lot of things which you are doing manually you can directly integrate them and you can you just have to click one button and everything will be calculated on the back so this is something uh, which is very much useful and i have seen in demand in kpus mainly so like this i am going to cover these many topics in the 20 hour session uh, any queries please ask anybody so we are planning to have a, a complete 20 hours training programs if you guys like i'll show madam can uh, i think uh, i want to show one of the requirement with the companies i have a, right now the job description which is sent by the company yeah yeah please share please share so just i want to show you uh, like uh, just a second to um, I think I don't think. Uh, sir, your screen is not visible. Not visible. Just a second. I'm trying to. 
I'm trying to uh, show the screen. Uh, Now, are you able to see? No, sir. Oh, just yeah, second. I can see now. Yeah. But sticks in Google Meet little takes a second difference is there. How you can see there is a company known Slabs Engineering Private Limited, and one mm -hmm. of the candidates is also get uh, selected also. You have mm -hmm. scheduled it. So it's just a BTEC civil engineering has done certain mm -hmm. courses with us. Mm -hmm. You can see there is a though is a civil B civil BTEC in civil engineering. They, mm -hmm. The company has a requirement of also macros in Excel. This is not yes. my point, this company requirement. And pressure they are offering 2.4 lakh package. It's a completely civil engineering design based company. You can see the company, the job description has been sent to us. Name of the company is Slabs Engineering Private Limited, World Trade Center, Karadi. So, what I mean to say, there's a huge potential, you know, because when to explore the Excel, <laughs> advanced Excel. Yes, sir, there's of course uh, potential in all the industries i uh, my experience comes from kpo and then i went into it but definitely there is a potential in civil and mechanical and electrical engineering because anyways data will always be on excel sheets nothing is gonna be on paper anymore so yes there is uh, obviously a lot of potential correct thanks man so you know whether you're a civil mechanical electrical, even bcom bsc mcom whatever it be it is required everybody whether you become a you know trainee engineer where you have to do a project calculation you have to do a coordination activities anything everywhere you require believe me where you have to send your maybe project engineer your team leader or maybe your project manager vice president everybody required just you know excel advanced excel so what excel you know just a you know entry we are not talking about just entry in excel we are talking about the expertise you should have in excel and we are going to offer you, but it's not required by, uh, it is required by industries. So, oh, aap log ko, kisi ko, if anybody is really interested and wanted to go for a long term, sometime training programs, you can enroll with us. I, I think I have a number also to share. And the best part I, I want to show is we have an industry consultant with us who is going to teach you. I mean, the person who has, uh, who has spent so many years in the industries. Uh, so again, I'm going to share another separate PPT of mine, madam. And uh, uh, so, so if you people are, uh, you know, interested to join, just let me know. I'll, I'll share my contact details. Mm, just a second. And something about us, I'm going to explain you something. Maybe somebody people knowing knows me and somebody I am not sure. There might be just be some people who are just, uh, you know, uh, came for just a seminar purpose just i'm trying to share one screen just let me open my ppt yes So, uh, I think many, how, how many students who knows me? Uh, my camera be on. Kar leta uh, I know you, sir. Uh, Sunil, Sunil, you know me? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you have been to our training center? Online? Achha, ka course laga hai, Sunil, na? No, I am not there. Actually, I inquired uh, for this advanced Excel course only. Okay, 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 okay fantastic. So we'd love to give the, you know, we basically would love to, you know, share the uh, skills with a person uh, who is already into impairment with us or as a freelancer with us. So I'm going to share some, some of our, just I'll take you 10 minutes from now. I'm going to finish my 9 p.m. Don't worry, I'm not going to be, take beyond 9 p.m. So would you like to see some of our presentation about us and what we can offer you? Please type yes. May I have the permission to show you? Please, please. Technical questions, so madam, se sakte ho. if you have a technical question, because I would also not ask madam to wait a much because already she had gave, spent some valuable time with us. But technical question, hai, push lo, please, madam. Se. Hmm. 
ठीक है तो ये हमारे बारे में बताता हूँ मैं ओके जस्ट तो ये तो हम लोग एडवांस एक्सेल्स मैडम ने बताया क्वेश्चन आंसर मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट ये सेमिनार का थी कि आप क्वेश्चन आंसर फ्री सेशन अब मैडम से पूछो ओके एंड दो वॉन्टेड टू अटेंड स्किल्स तो ये दिस अबाउट मी आई एम रोहित आई एम द ट्रेनिंग सेंटर डायरेक्टर तो दो ब्रांचेस है पुणे में टेन ईयर्स का एक्सपीरियंस है और हमारे एजेंडा इज टू मेक टू प्रोवाइड क्वालिटी स्किल्स बेस्ड ट्रेनिंग टू मेक पीपल इम्प्लॉयबल एंड जॉब रेडी तो ये हम ये हमारी टीम है कैटस फैमिली की सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है हमारी टीम जो टू प्लस ट्रेनर्स है जिसमें जैसे अब एडवांस एक्सेल के पार्ट में दिस पार्ट इज टेकन बाय वागिश्री मैडम और देर आर वीवीए पार्ट विच इज टेकन बाय विक्रांत सर लॉट ऑफ ट्रेनर्स फैकल्टीज आर इन इन टू आर पैलमेंट सिविल मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल लॉट ऑफ एंड कोविड के बाद तो हमारे पास ज्यादा फैकल्टी इम्पैलमेंट में आ गए दे आर दी फुल टाइम ट्रेनर्स विथ अस दे आर दी पार्ट टाइम ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन ट्रेनर्स और दे आर दी फ्री लैंसर कैन बी ऑनलाइन ऑफलाइन क्या क्योंकि हमारे पुणे हड़पसर सेंटर में बहुत लोग फैकल्टी आती है कैडेस फैमिली तो हम लोग क्लासरूम ट्रेनिंग कॉर्पोरेट ट्रेनिंग ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग में हमारा कोविड में यू नो एक स्वर्गेट में भी सेंटर था सिटी प्राइड में हाईली रेंडर प्रीमाइज बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव कोलैप्स्ड कोविड ने हमें मतलब कोलैप्स कर गया बट हड़पसर सेंटर पुणे में हमारा चालू अभी भी आज भी चल रहा है बट वी हैव कोलैप्स फिजिकल सेंटर बंद हो गया तो अभी कंपनी भी शिफ्ट हो गई ऑनलाइन तो हम लोग भी शिफ्ट कर दिए उसी तरह ऑनलाइन में भी और पार्ट ऑफलाइन जो भी पुणे में हम लोग हड़पसा सेंटर में अभी फिलहाल कर रहे हैं और ऑनलाइन तो डेफिनेटली वी आर टीचिंग इंडिया इंडिया अब्रॉड आल्सो अभी जर्मनी में ट्रेनिंग हो रही है दुबई में तो और एजेंडा इज टू क्रिएट मेक पीपल इम्प्लॉयबल मोर देन वन मिलियन पीपल इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड वी है ग्रेट टीम्स और अब्रोड ये एक बड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम है जिसकी वजह से बहुत रिजेक्शन हो रहे हैं तो वी आर हियर कैंडिडेट जा रहे हैं सिलेक्ट नहीं हो रहे उनको अच्छा आता है ई प्लान कट या वट एवर दे हैव स्किल्स बट दे आर लैकिंग समवेयर वी आर हियर टू इंटरफेस द इंडस्ट्री में जो हाईली कॉम्पिटेटिव इन्वायरमेंट है और आपके बीच में इंटरफेस करने का हमारा आइडिया है अब बहुत लोग प्लेस भी हुए हमारे यहाँ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल है प्लेसमेंट थैंक सोहेल ये सब बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स हमारे प्लेस है दो में सुजाता है सुजाता इनके प्लेस हुआ अभी ऑनलाइन भी हमने शिफ्ट किया देखो कि 27 जुलाई लॉकडाउन के समय के सेशंस है वेरी नाइस सेशंस दिस वाज द इलेक्ट्रिकल सम कोर्सेज व्हिच हैड बीन कंडक्टेड बाय द इंडस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट्स हु उसके डोमेन में एक्सपर्टीज है तो थैंक यू रोहित सर महेश सर सो ब्यूटीफुल विद डिफरेंट एग्जांपल महेश सर आल्सो थैंक यू अदर क्लासमेट एक ग्रुप बन जाता है आपका व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप ये व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप जैसे ना एक व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बन जाता है जिसमें तीन चार लोग रहते हैं असाइनमेंट मिलता है स्क्रीन शेयरिंग होता है अब डाउट शेयर करते हैं यहां तो अभी कोई लोग एनरोल नहीं है तो हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं एक Just like awareness ke liye we have created because there is a huge demand from the industry and student log ne bhi bola. So ye ye abhi hamara mode of training ho gaya. Ye to tha hi offline, but abhi aap dekhoge recordings bhi maine kiya, assess kiya, jisme aapko recording assess bhi milega in case you physical class mein to ab forward reward nahi kar sakte. This is my daughter, she is just she is in four and a half years. In iska bhi learning ho raha, she is doing assignment. So ye is well, school pe bhi matter hota hai. I'm I'm lucky my daughter is is लर्निंग इन सच स्कूल बट इसका लर्निंग स्टॉप नहीं है उसी तरह प्रोफेशनल लाइक यू आर आल्सो लर्निंग मैडम ने बोला अभी वर्क फ्रॉम होम का कल्चर और बहुत सारे कंपनीज अभी तीन साल के लिए बोले आई हैव बीन डिस्कस विद लॉट ऑफ ट्रेनर्स वो बोले कि अभी तीन साल वो लोग घर से ही काम करने के लिए कंपनी ने पॉलिसीज बना रही है है बिलीव मी तो जैसे मेरा एक हड़ा स्वर्गेट सेंटर बंद हो गया था अनफॉर्चुनेटली बट बंद नहीं हुआ है हमने भी शिफ्ट किया हमने भी सीखा हमने भी चेंज किया तो दिस आर द रिव्यूज यू कैन सी इन कोर्स ऑफ टेक कैडेस हड़प सर आप गूगल में रिव्यूज देख सकते हो चार साल पांच साल छह साल आठ साल पुराना भी मिलेगा सबसे बेस्ट बेनिफिट है कि यू विल बी एबल टू री ज्वाइन मतलब क्या होता है कि अगर आपको डाउट्स आ गए बाद में कंपनी में तो ये मैडम है कभी फिर से चाहे ऑफलाइन में भी ऐसे ही था आप कोई भी एग्जिस्टिंग बैच में फिर से ज्वाइन कर सकते हो उसके लिए कोई चार्जेस एक्स्ट्रा नहीं डेट इज लाइफ टाइम सपोर्ट पर आपको डाउट लेके आना पड़ेगा मतलब ऐसे नहीं कि रात को अभी एक बजे फोन करो वैसे नहीं जब आठ जो भी रेगुलर बैचेस रहेंगे विद रिस्पेक्टिव ट्रेनर्स यू कैन रूज ज्वाइन जैसे नेक्स्ट फाइव टेन अलेवन ऑनलाइन में तो ये एक बेनिफिट आपको मिलेगा दूसरा लाइफ टाइम एस एस टू और ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर भी मिलेगा प्लेसमेंट असिस्टेंस अभी हमारे बहुत सारे कंपनी से भी अभी रिसेंटली में हमारे यहाँ जस्ट दिसंबर जनवरी मंथ में आई थिंक मोर देन टेन पीपल है पांच दस लोग तो खुद से भी प्लेस हो गए तो वी आर हियर टू सपोर्ट यू मतलब क्या है कि अगर आप एक पार्ट ऑफ इको सिस्टम हो एक स्किल्स शेयर कर रहे हो जैसे अब दो सौ फैकल्टी तो हम लोग अपने ऑफिस में नहीं बैठा सकते हैं एडवांस एक्सेल वाले ई प्लान वाले इलेक्ट्रिकल कैड वाले तो वी इट्स नॉट नॉट फिजिब
कि हमारे प्लेसमेंट टीम को शेयर करते हैं हम लोग कोई चार्जेस नहीं करते कंपनीज जो हमारे ट्रेन कैंडिडेट्स रहते हैं तो इंप्लॉयर अगर आप हो या आप मैनेजर हो आप भी हायर कर सकते हो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को वी डोंट चार्ज एनीथिंग एनीथिंग फ्रॉम द इंप्लॉयर जो हमारे यहाँ स्टूडेंट्स है सेकेंड थिंग इंप्लॉय के लिए भी फ्री है अगर आप इंप्लॉय हो तो आप रिज्यूम फॉरवर्ड कर सकते हो तो यू आर पक्का हुआ पार्ट ऑफ सिक्स यू आर यू जॉब पे यू डोट हैव टू पे तो हम लोग जॉब भी इस तरह से एसेस करते हैं रोहित वी आर लुकिंग फॉर सच एंड सच हाउ यूर फ्रेशर विल ऑल्सो वर्क देखो एक रिक्वायरमेंट है हाउर फ्रेशर हमेशा किस तरह का जॉब डिस्ट्रेशन कंपनी का आता है फ्रेशर विल ऑल्सो वर्क बट क्या फ्रेशर्स कंपनी खोजती है एक्सपीरियंस बट रियली दे हैव राइट स्किल्स तो दे कैन गेट सेलेक्टेड दिस हाउ दिस गर्ल गेट सेलेक्टेड तो ऐसे बहुत सारे ओपनिंग्स आते रहती वी शेयर द रिज्यूम्स एवरीथिंग यू नो दिस काइंड ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम द कंपनीज लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज वी जनरली कोऑर्डिनेट बिटवीन टू द कंपनीज आईटी नॉन आईटी वी आर नॉट चार्जिंग एनीथिंग फ्रॉम द क्लाइंट्स आल्सो नाइदर फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स हम लोग बस ट्रेनिंग फीस चार्ज करते तो ऐसे बहुत सारे ओपनिंग्स आती है पार्ट टाइम मैडम ने भी बोला फ्रीलांसिंग वर्क होता है ऐसे भी बहुत सारे आते हैं तो आफ्टर डूइंग दिस यू गेट आल्सो सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ आईएसओ सर्टिफिकेशंस फिर ऑल्सो अभी ऑटोडेस्क के भी पार्टनर आपको माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का भी चाहिएगा तो वी कैन एसेस थ्रू सम चैनल्स वेयर वी कैन गेट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्टिफिकेशन और बट वो एक्स्ट्रा चार्जेस लगेगा वेयर यू हैव वी हैव टू पे थ्रू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट और उसके चैनल पार्टनर्स को कैडेस्क के भी फ्रेंचाइजी पार्टनर दीस आर द कंपनीज व्हिच आर ऑलरेडी वी आर गिविंग अवर ट्रेनिंग प्लेसमेंट्स ऐसे बहुत सारे कंपनीज है हमारे यहां सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट यू हां यस सर या थैंक्स फॉर शेयरिंग द डिटेल्स एंड इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स फिनिश्ड इट्स फिनिश्ड सर ऑलमोस्ट आई एम फिनिश्ड यू कैन आस्क राइट नाउ आई हैव या या आई एम स्विचिंग विद विद भागेश्वरी मैम हम्म मैम आर यू देयर ओनली आई थिंक शी लेफ्ट ओके शी लेफ्ट हां यस यू कैन टेल मी नाउ यू कैन आस्क टिल इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज सो सो द माय बेसिक क्वेरी इज दैट इफ वी गो थ्रू दिस ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम व्हिच इज बाउंडेड विद द शोन सिलेबस so uh, uh, so we are, we will able to get the jobs well that much of skill set we will get to get a job in kpos and bpos industries right or any excel excel organization excel oriented organization right so uh, what will be the charges and fees schedule for this all these things uh dekho you aap mere ko whatsapp karo like as as if now this batch we have plan 11 uh, for this means one month training 20 hours training means four to five days a week rahenge five days you can say five days a week we are pl- planning four to five days other week days mein rehta hai one hour daily maybe let it be 8 to 9 pm is the best time slot or uh, example but we can adjust also if there is a special or single or two people batch so by default as if now we are just uh, proposing it for 8 to 9 pm time and uh, the fees would be actual fees is 11999 but if you are joining enrolling it we are making it in 9999 additionally you get a support also later on also you can join rejoin you come with the doubts you can uh, because it's not the first time we are going to conduct advanced excel every month or every two months we are going to conduct so you have to uh come to that time 8 to 9 pm and you can ask and get your doubts second thing recording you can say there is a red button so we are also giving a recording access so whatever madam is taught you can revise backward forward most of the training center will not provide this recording but we are going to provide and whatever placement calls we are going to provide whatever we come you can independently apply also yourselves but we are also going to get, give you whatever openings we come across okay anything else you this is a contact number you can whatsapp me if you have any queries it's 87931 i think avinash and many people are also i am very thankful to parag avinash and shital sunil uh, for taking time and uh, oh, participating in the event we are, thankful. We are really we are thankful and you are arranging the sessions thanks thanks sunil so it's 9 pm i'm ending the meeting if you have any question just whatsapp thanks parak thanks good night and happy shivaji jayanti to all of you yeah thank you thank you sir thank you